Welcome to today's edition of the Exploring Mining Podcast, featuring stock news from TSX, TSXV, CSE, ASX, NASDAQ, and New York Stock Exchange mining companies, plus interviews with CEOs and leading experts. Hey folks, Sam Mowers here, back with another episode of the Exploring Mining Podcast. For stocks today, we'll be looking at news from Barrick Gold Corporation, Gold Resource Corporation, Asanko Gold, Vanadium Corp Resource Inc., and QMC Quantum Minerals Corp. So Barrick Gold Corporation, which is traded on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol GOLD, or gold, has revealed that its full-year production was continuing to trend towards the upper end of the 5.1 to 5.6 million ounce guidance range, and that its costs are estimated to be low. The firm's third quarter results indicate sales of 1.32 million ounces of gold and 64 million pounds of copper, as well as preliminary third quarter production of 1.31 million ounces of gold and 111 million pounds of copper. Barrick will provide more detail when it announces its quarterly results before North American markets open on November 6, 2019. Gold Resource Corporation, which is traded on the New York Stock Exchange American under the ticker symbol GORO, has reported record preliminary gold production results of 11,000 165 ounces for the third quarter, ending September 30th, 2019. Also, the company reports preliminary third quarter production of 477,297 ounces of silver and significant copper, lead, and zinc. Asanko Gold Inc., which is traded on the New York Stock Exchange American under the ticker symbol AKG, has announced its third quarter 2019 production results. Highlights include record proceeds of $91 million generated from gold sales of 63,009 ounces at an average realized price of $1,443 per ounce and record gold production of 62,440 ounces on track to meet 2019 production guidance of 225,000 to 245,000 ounces. Asanko CEO Greg McCunn commented, quote, The Asanko gold mine continued to deliver strong operational performance during the quarter with record quarterly production and revenue. During the third quarter, we substantially completed the Cut 2 pushback at the Nakran pit, concluding a significant capital program that allows the mine to focus on generating meaningful f- free cash flow. Increased free cash flow will continue to strengthen the balance sheet at both the corporate and joint venture level. At the corporate level, during the third quarter, we received $10 million from our JV partner pursuant to the joint venture transaction, and we expect to receive a further $10 million on or before December 31, 2019, significantly bolstering our corporate balance sheet." End quote. Vanadium Corp Resource Inc., which is traded on the TSXV under the ticker symbol VRB, along with Electrochem Technologies and Materials Inc., are filing the National Entry Phase Patent Application for their jointly owned Vanadium Corp Electrochem Processing Technology, or VEPT, in the European Union. VEPT is described in the press release as, quote, a novel chemical process consisting of digesting vanadiferous feedstocks into concentrated sulfuric acid. The technology addresses the recovery of vanadium pentoxide, vanadyl sulfate, ferrous sulfate, titanium hydrolysate, and silica from feedstocks such as vanadiferous titano magnetite, iron ores, and concentrates such as magnetite and hematite, vanadium industrial waste such as BOF slags and other industrial byproducts also containing Vanadium, rather. End quote. CEO and president of Vanadium Corp, Adrian Backer, said, quote, Filing the national phase entry in Europe is the final and most significant milestone for VEPT, essential to our developments in Europe that will integrate vanadium produce sustainability and directly into vanadium redox flow batteries to mitigate the cost and carbon footprint of energy storage. End quote. And QMC Quantum Minerals Corp., which is traded on the TSXV under the ticker symbol QMC, has shipped mineralized samples from its Irgon Lithium Mine Project to Chinese firm Guangxi Nonferrous Limu Mining Co. Limited for the latter to test and produce a 6% battery-grade lithium oxide concentrate under a non-disclosure agreement. 
QMC President and CEO Balraj Mann explained, quote, Guangxi has requested we send material to them for metallurgical testing and production of a 6% lithium concentrate. We are excited with this new development as we advance our Irgon lithium mine project forward, end quote. Well, that does it for today's Exploring Mining podcast. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. InvestorIdeas.com reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. All investment involves risk, and this podcast is not meant to be an endorsement to buy or sell securities or products. To hear more podcasts, you can go to InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music, iHeart.com, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker, and SoundCloud. 